Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guide from Tech Store, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the disassembly process of the ASUS Tough Gaming FX504. Now, these are the Core i5 and Core i7 8th generation processor based laptops, and uh, these are sold around 2 3 years back, somewhere around 2019 and 20. And a lot of these laptops are coming for repairs, and the main reason for the repairs is the display frame is getting broken. So, in this video, we will be showing you how to basically rectify that, uh, clear the hinges, calibrate the hinges and also to replace the battery, replace the motherboard, hard drive, SSD, RAM, literally each and everything that you would want, even the touchpad, the LED panel, anything and everything that you want to do with this pedal laptop in terms of repair, you'll be able to see this. So let's do it. So if your laptop is something that looks like this on the top, it has got a metallic uh, finish and once you open, this is the way it looks, uh, red uh, keyboard and uh, finishing is like this and uh, the base is something that looks like this, then you can apply this particular video for the repair of the ASUS Tough Gaming FX504 series of laptops. Now the extension might be anything, all the FX504, this same process will be applied. So let's get deep into it. First thing first, we need to flip the laptop and you will see a lot of screws over here which you need to remove. Start with the hinges side. Then there is a screw below this, you just need to remove it and uh, need to remove the screw over here. This is a shorter screw, so don't get confused, the center one is a little short screw. These are the longer ones, so keep it on one side. Take a triangular prior like this and start triduting on the sides here. And the base will be off. So this is the battery over here, these are the speakers, this is the HDD hard drive, this is the M.2 NVMe SSD, this is the keyboard connector, the backlit connector, the RAM over here, dual bay RAM here, the two processor fans, the Wi-Fi chip, the DC jack, the speaker connector, the CMOS cell, literally everything is in front of you. Let's start with the battery first. There is only one screw that you need to remove and this is the screw over here, just need to remove it. There are no other screws and just need to very gently pull the connector out of the motherboard and this is the battery that you need to take it's uh, the part type is b31n1726 this is the part code and uh, the power ratings are 11.4 volts and 48 watt hours take a similar battery and uh, you can replace it let's keep it on one side right now this is where the hard drive is and uh, the hard drive is literally being held just by this small notch here just need to pull it out as you can see and the hard drive will be off. There is this casing over here which uh, connects to the hard drive. So in a scenario you want to replace the hard drive with the SSD or say your hard drive is not working. Take a 2.5 inches form factor SATA SSD or hard drive. You need to remove these screws as I am removing them and uh, the frame will come off. Take another hard drive like this, up to 2 terabyte hard drive is what it will detect as well as 1 terabyte SSD, 2.5 form factor SATA connector. You can take the slim one as well as the thicker ones, the older ones also and replace it because the block here is pretty thick and it will surely accommodate a thicker hard drive also. So the SSD was over here, so you need to remove this particular, there is a stickering over the screw, just need to remove it like this and you can remove the existing SSD or in a scenario, your tough gaming laptop has come only with the hard drive, this connector will be available for you to install a M.2 NVMe SSD. You can take a similar SSD, it is to be a 2280 form factor, the long one and you can just take another SSD and install it like this over here and put the screw back. You can put up to 2 terabyte M.2 NVMe SSD over here and various form factor also can be accommodated but advisably 2280 and the sizes can be 128, 250 GB, 500 GB, 1 terabyte or 2 terabyte. Coming to the part where the RAM is, just need to remove, there are two RAM bays, so the total RAM upgrade capacity is 16 plus 16, that is up to 32 GB, you can upgrade. You want to replace the RAM, just need to remove using your two thumb fingers, the RAM comes out and uh, there is this 
heat sink kind of a thing which is there so this comes by default with 8 gb this particular model and uh, if you want to upgrade another 8 gb you need to buy a 8 gb ddr4 266 megahertz laptop sodium ram take a similar ram like this it may be 8 plus 8 or 16 plus 16 just need to take this RAM and insert it like this and press and the RAM can be upgraded comfortably. So ASUS has given these uh, stickering over here. This is the heat dissipation uh, kind of a sink kind of a thing. You just need to place it over here. Once you have another RAM, you can put this particular stickering onto that. There is some glue over here. So you can just put it on that particular thing and it will hold onto it. Just for the RAM not to get heated up. So come to the part where the fans are, you just need to remove these screws over here. So we need to remove these screws, uh, they are mentioned here, first screw, then the second screw, then the third screw, then the fourth screw, then the fifth screw and then the sixth screw. One, two, three, four, five, six. You need to remove in the sequence one, two, three, four, five, six. Now coming to this side uh, presser fan, this is the display cable, just need to remove the display cable over here, just need to pull it out and keep it on one side and remove the screw of the fan. Now you need to remove the power connector, this is a power connector over here, just need to pull it out and uh, ditto with this side also, just need to very gently pull it out. It will be held on uh, with some thermal paste inside, so just need to pull this thing out uh, a little carefully and the entire assembly of the heat sink as well as the processor fan is off now so this is the heat sink and the processor fan assembly let's keep it on one side so people who want to replace the dc jack they just need to remove uh, this particular jack over here and uh, the dc jack is over here so we need to remove the screws that are held on by the hinges and uh, need to remove it like this and you can remove the DC jack. So this is the DC jack. Many times the DC jack uh, does go bad. So you can replace the DC jack and the laptop would power on. This is the DC jack that you have to replace it with. So let us put the DC jack back here. Need to remove the screws from this side of the hinge and need to just open it up like this. And uh, the Wi-Fi antenna cables have to be removed for the entire base to come out. And the display frame is off. So this is the display frame and we need to loosen the hinges over here so that it does not break off. You need to take a box screwdriver like this and you need to loosen the hinges over here. Just put it here in this and you need to calibrate it. Just need to loosen it a little. Just check if it is a little loose, still a little hard only. Seems to be a little loose now. Ditto with this side also. Alright, these are loose enough now and uh, we can put it back. So people who want to replace the Wi-Fi chip just need to remove this screw. We have already removed the Wi-Fi antenna. Just need to remove this screw and take a similar Wi-Fi chip. It's a Intel 5600NGW Wi-Fi chip that they have given in this laptop and just need to put it back like this and replace it to fit the antenna cables back. Black goes on to black and white goes on to white. There will be a locking sound over here. So we need to replace the motherboard, so we need to remove all the connectors. We need to remove the keyboard connector, we need to remove the touchpad connector, we need to remove the backlit connector and we need to remove the SSD also. We need to remove the speaker connector. Even the Wi-Fi chip has to be removed. Once all the connectors have been removed, we need to remove all the screws that are holding onto the motherboard. The motherboard will be out there is one connector which is the power button connector just need to remove it and we need to disconnect it like this so as of now we'll just keep this thing connected So in a scenario you want to replace the entire touchpad, the touchpad is in your hand, you can just take another touchpad with keyboard and you can reverse the process. Let's now clean the motherboard first. We 
we need to paste thermal paste one two three four five these places over here so we need to take a tissue paper So it is not advised to clean uh, these over here. The existing uh, heat sink will automatically apply on this. We will put apply thermal paste on these actually. Just take a brush and uh, clean it off. Now let's clean the heat sink. Remember only the processor and the graphic card part has to be cleaned. Now let us open the processor fans. There is a lot of stickering which will be there. This is the way it is fitted inside. Just need to remove the stickering. Tito with this side also. There is a stickering which is holding on. Just need to remove the stickering and it comes off. Be very sure the right and left you fit them correctly. Just take a brush, start cleaning the fan. Keep it on a newspaper so that the dust falls down on the newspaper, not on your working area. The fan has been cleaned off as you can see. Ditto with this fan also. Just need to blow the air and see if it comes off. Then you need to clean uh, these, the lungs of the heat sink as we call it. Blow air so that the dust goes off and the lungs are clean as ever. So we advise to have a Cooler Master Thermal Paste. People who want to replace the motherboard, this is the motherboard that you have to buy. DABKLJMB8D0. Take a similar motherboard and uh, you can fit it onto the touchpad. Now we need to put the power button connector over here. And you need to place it like this. You need to put all the screws back. You need to place the fans first, the connector back. Now you need to put the screws of the fan. And uh, now we need to put the heat sink and take all the screws again in the same chronological order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 fans are fitted now we need to take the LED panel and fit it like this now we need to just put it back we need to put the DC jack so we will put the DC jack over here we will connect the DC jack the Wi-Fi connector black on black speaker connector keyboard connector Let's 
put the RAM So in this video, we've shown you how to calibrate the hinges, which is the most important aspect of uh, Asus Tough Gaming laptop. And uh, most of these laptops are coming for repairs at this point of time, one and a half, two years of usage, and they are just breaking off. So uh, we've shown you how to calibrate the hinges. Also the hard drive, RAM, SSD, uh, battery replacement. In fact, the replacement of motherboard has been shown in this video, as well as the heat sink, processor fan, Wi-Fi chip, everything literally which you would want to replace has been shown. Hope you liked the video guys. Uh, do let us know suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. Thank you so much guys.